Hey guys, it's me Jealous and welcome back to the Minecraft survival here on the PS4. Let's get, what are we, actually no, the question is, what are we doing today? Today, we are down in the mine, we are doing a 10 minute mining challenge. Basically, what's going to happen, I'm going to be mining for a total of 10 minutes down wherever I want, down at level 1, which is level 11, uh, I'm given 10 minutes. Each ore I find is a point, like, like different, um range of points so let's go for a coal for every coal it's half a point uh every redstone it's um one point iron is two gold is five lapis is seven diamonds are 10 and emeralds are 15. so basically f um i will be collecting as much as i can within that time and basically at the end after the 10 minutes up i will count up all the uh scores i've got a calculator and I am ready to go. So I'm going to get ready. I'm going to wait to get to a certain point And I am going to go for a, a full 10 minutes. Let's get going. Now, at the moment I'm using... Oh, that is a good <laughs> um, a good start. Um, right, so what am I looking for? I'm looking... Do I go for the high yields? I believe I'm going to go for... Right, so that's one, two, three... Oh, there's some coal. I probably might take that. Um, I was about to say, it's not the amount of ores, because with uh, coal, obviously, you can get more, or you could get less. Um, so, basically, what I am going to do is, for every item I have... Uh, so, if I've got a stack of um, redstone, that counts as 64 points. Basically, we're just trying to get the most um, amount of points as we can. And then, like, maybe in about 10 episodes' time, we might st do it again, see what we can get. Uh, for diamonds, um, I am going to be using the Fortune 2. The only um, thing I can get used of my Fortune 2 for is um, diamond and emeralds, nothing else. Not lapis, not uh, redstone, not, um, not even coal, um, because I want to limit myself to how much... I actually like use that, but if I come across um, diamonds and emeralds, I'm just going to pick them up as if I was mining normally. So this just is something a bit different. Um, oh, that's not good. Right, let's use that one because it's got a bit of unbreaking on. So we have been going for about a minute and a half already. So that's so poor so far. We have been actually doing really bad so far because we mucked about in that sort of ravine. I was thinking, should I get the iron? Um, I'll get this iron because it's quite easy to get to, but I need to be aware of my time and I need to be aware of like what's around me. So basically, I'm going to be trying to get as much as I can. This is a great way of getting uh, resources. It depends what I want and it's, it's good tactics because if I go for more lower points, um, and not really look out for the higher points. It might work, but it I could go for the higher yields, which is for diamonds. So I need to be careful of how much time I spend on getting coal and redstone and stuff like that, because coal obviously is only half a point per uh, coal, and it's only a point per redstone. Um, lapis is actually pretty good, seven points, and um, if I find any lapis, we normally get quite a lot from each ore. So um, in the future, I might do this with the silk touch. If when I, I do finally get a silk touch pickaxe, I'll do it because then I can count the ores and see how many I get. That's probably the best way to do it because at the moment it's a bit un inaccurate because I'm using different pickaxes for different ores, like I've already said. Um, this is just a idea that I had literally just before I started the uh, episode. I was just thinking, um, well, I'm going to take a chance that something's behind this coal. Hopefully there is because I could do with something big like a diamond or an emerald, just something that's going to give me a bit. Oh, this is probably a waste of time, but it's it's the risk I took. It's the risk I took. Um, so what was I saying? I was saying, oh, this is just because obviously at the end of last episode we finished up making the farm pretty quickly. So I thought, right, what can we do next? Um, so I just had the idea. Let's try and um, do a bit of a challenge because I haven't done any challenges yet. Um, I want to see where this leads to. 
it doesn't really lead anywhere. Right, how long have I got left? I have done... Let me see if my math skills are in order. I've done four minutes, so I've got six minutes left. Uh, and then we've got a tiny bit of time at the end of the episode just to count up my, and get my score. Um, if you watch this and then you try it yourself, um, leave me a comment on what score you got. Uh, try and do it kind of uh, using tools that I have. Maybe if you've got a Fortune 2 pickaxe, or um, that would be a very very good um if you've got a fortune free tell me what sort of tools you're using if you've got a silk touch pickaxe on your survival then tell me what sort of points you get for that um yeah it just it just makes it interesting try and um set myself a benchmark and then like like i say in about 10 episodes time i might come down and try it again and hopefully i beat my score all oh, right stupid gravel my the bane of my life like i've already said loads of times basically what i'm gonna i'm trying to do is maybe find a cave um but so far at the moment i'm limited to strip mining which obviously isn't um that efficient but in the in the past i've had really good yields from just doing quite a lot of strip mining so i'm hoping that continues um what was it i was gonna say i was gonna say something else Oh, there's that, some iron. I might as well take that. Get some... Right, there's bound to be some more iron around here somewhere. Oh, maybe not. Let's get back up to that level because... Oh, I'm going to waste a bit of time here looking at my map. Yeah, I'm level 11. <sighs> um, an update on the farm. I've managed to get some more um, cows and more pigs. But still, so far, yet to find any chickens which actually is disappointing that I, was, I checked in my house see if I've got any eggs I haven't I've just got seven cooked chickens um, so I must have got them from somewhere but unfortunately no eggs right there's some more coal here am I gonna take the risk again I think I, I'm, I'm gonna take the risk again because you never know what's behind coal coal can actually be really good plus it's just half a point to each time I pick up a coal pick up a piece of coal so that's not too bad uh, I don't I'm just wasting time now. I am just literally time wasting get the red star oh lapis that is brilliant that's seven um, points a piece for each piece of lapis not each or um, not to be mistaken and so that is that's a pretty good yield so far I'm not going to check how much I've got of everything until the end um, how long have I got left? I've got about three minutes left. I've been going for seven minutes. So far, I'd say my score has not been that good, but that lapis has really helped a bit. Oh, come on, gravel. Don't do this to me now. I've only got three minutes left. Don't you know I'm on a mining challenge? Right. I would say so far I've also not been very efficient with um, using the pickaxe. This is only efficiency one on breaking one. Um, in the future I will be using a lot better pickaxes. But I wanted to just set myself a little benchmark. It shouldn't be too hard to beat next time. Um, because um, in the future I do expect to have a lot better stuff. Um, I need levels. I need to make another level 30 enchant, Which I think we're going to start next episode with. Um, which should be which should be pretty good um, because I'll probably keep on mining after this episode has ended in order to get that level 30 enchant ready for the start of the next episode. Um, next episode I haven't really got any plans. Um, I'm probably going to say making crops and stuff, making maybe a shed to go along with the farm that we've made. Uh, I think that would be good, like, making outside look a bit better. Is that it? Um, right, how long have I got left? I've got about less than two minutes. Right, I hear a slime. Slime chunks underground are pretty decent. I'm, j I'm literally just getting rid of this coal just to see if there's literally anything. What the? That, that's a bit random. Random slime chunk. Right, how long we've got left? We've got about two minutes left, which is... Actually, no, not about two minutes. Let's use the efficiency. 
No, no, no. That's a bit bad. How long have I got left? I've got one minute left. Oh my god, come on, come on. Let's find something. Just find anything good. I haven't found any ores, really, in ages. I'm not going to waste time eating because I just want to get this done. Right, a bit of iron. That's quite bad, actually. Because iron is only two points per ore. That is pretty bad. Um, if you want to leave any suggestions of what sort of challenges you want me to try or how I can improve on uh, this challenge, uh, be my guest, just leave a comment um, down below. Also, if you liked um, this um, little challenge, but, right, I've got about 15 seconds left. Come on, just quick. Come on. I have five. Four, three, two, one, and stop there. Right, now let's get a calculator up. Um, just a second. Actually, I, I should be able to work it out in my head. So let's have a look. Uh, coal, we have 66, so that's 33 points. Redstone, we have two stacks, that's 128, 131, 131 points for that. Iron, we have 32, so we have 64 um, for that. 64, we have no gold whatsoever. Lapis, we have 20. 20 times 7 is 140. No diamonds and no emeralds. So let's just um, work out that score. That is uh, 164. Uh, 230, wait, 228, 228, 300 and, 368 is the score that I've worked out in my head, uh, I could be wrong, uh, I didn't miss anything in my adventure, did I? Nope. So, 368, that's an alright score, maybe I should have set myself a little target to work for. But honestly, um, that, that's not a bad score to uh, start off with. So for the remaining time, we've still got a couple minutes left of the episode. What I'm going to do is just mine for a bit longer, see what I can find. And yeah, just enjoy it now, really. Just start collecting more um, resources. I'll tell you what, I didn't expect to get over a stack of coal. Even though I was like looking behind coal, I wasn't fully expecting to, um, like, I wasn't really expecting to find anything, really. I'm, I'm disappointed I couldn't find any gold, but gold was only five points. Um, I'm disappointed, obviously, no diamonds, no emeralds, but at the end of the day, you can't always be lucky. It's, it's, it's luck. At the end of the day, it's like if you open a pack on FIFA or supply drop on Call of Duty, just it's just luck and um some days you're lucky more lucky than others so um i'm about that score it's not too bad right and now i can eat <laughs> really this pickaxe is getting more and more oh now we find gold now we find gold and i knew we'd find something but, we, but saying that i think that's only six pieces six down size that's only another 30 points but yeah, if I found like eight diamonds, that's ooh. see. Why don't we find caves when we're doing the challenge? Seriously, that this would have been good because I could actually go around at pace, look in for different things. Right, so there's nothing down there. Uh, I see this redstone. I'd collect it, even though it's a point each thing. But you get obviously multiple from each drop, so um, that's not bad. Uh, we've got the lapis over there. We've got iron here and um, up and down below. Right, we've got 20 seconds left, so I'm going to wrap it up here, everyone. And um, if you enjoyed this episode, please leave a like. Um, but until next time, goodbye.